Yeah, what's up guys, Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break today, guys. Today we're going to do another one of my favorite subscription boxes. For the month of October, we are going to do the ninth inning crate again, the Premier Crate. That's right, comes in at a price point of $149.99, so $150 shipped to you. Um, and I actually have a bonus one coming up for you guys, so if you like these Subscription boxes were in particular the ninth inning crates. I have a special box uh, that I went out and purchased uh, that should be coming in any day now. So we'll have that video upload here in a couple weeks. And I also, uh, it was a special kind of premiere box where they have uh, different packs in and stuff like that. And I was able to add some really sick packs for pretty good prices into theirs. But uh, I digress, guys. We'll, we'll check that out as it comes. Let's fill in the background cards and get into this break. So I figured. Let's go with some of my better pulls that I've done here in the last, oh, I don't know, a couple months or so. Um, really no rhyme or reason, just some really good cards I pulled. First off, from my Grand Slam Card Club uh, October box, ironically, this is one of my more recent pulls. Didn't realize how big it was at the time. Uh, if you guys want to check out any of these videos, they are all uploaded on here where you can see me pull these cards. But from 2015 Top's Finest, Thought this was just a few dollar card, the Chris Bryant rookie card. Um, I was like, oh, okay, cool, nice Chris Bryant rookie card. Well, the thing about this, and I'll turn it over and show you guys, it is number 111. Well, that is an SP rookie. Uh, this was apparently a very short print rookie card, which I had no idea about, and it's worth several hundred dollars, uh, raw, which is just very, very nice. So, that was a really, really good pull. I had no idea at the time just how big of a pull that was. Uh, and again, that was from the October Grand Slam Card Club box, uh, which incidentally, guys, as I put this up here, um, they are still offering the promo if you guys want to check out that subscription box. 5% off if you use the uh, code, the promotional code from my channel, Growin1, that's G-R-O-W-I-N, G-R-O-W-I-N, and the number one, Growin1. I'll put that in the description for you guys, but you get 5% off of your first box uh, or any products from the Grand Slam Card Club uh, as well, which is pretty cool. Um, next up, this was from a random fat pack very recently. Um, and again, this video is just very recently uploaded on here for you guys. Couldn't believe this pull. Very, very nice pull. Um, out of 2018 update, one of my fat packs, retail fat packs, um, that I broke on here. We pulled the Glaber Torres, a rookie card, all-star rookie, but it's not just that. You guys can tell that little bit of design in the background. That's because it's the Independence Day uh variation which is out of 76 that's right 68 of 76 on this card so we got the glaber glaber day rookie card independence day variation out of 76 very very sick very very sick card uh for sure uh, the 2018 update we'll throw that there and then center stage just because we're looking for this i mean everybody's looking for this guy this year uh one of my better Pulls as far as his cards go. I have gotten some other good ones too, but for right now, this is one of my better pulls out of 2020 tribute. Uh, number 14 of 199, the rookie card on card auto, the man himself, Luis Robert. There you guys go. Pulled that out of a loose pack of 2020 tribute. Uh, I did pull that on here. I think that was in one of my build my own baseball boom boxes, honestly, guys. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. We'll throw that up there. Hopefully these guys give us a little bit of luck pulling some mammoth stuff today, guys. Enough blabbing. Let's just get into this. I already kind of pre-cut it, but I've not opened it. I have no idea, honestly, what the packs are in here. I really, I, I think they'll tell you guaranteed packs and stuff, but I, I'd rather just be surprised. So I have no idea. Love the box design, guys. You know, this is one of the better box design products that are out there. Um, so I love it. You know, let's see if it's worth our money though this month, because... I've only done this uh, crate a few times, but I have had some incredible luck. Looks like all our cards are nice and packaged tightly here. We'll pull this kind of block out and set that down. That's just a little bit of packing peanuts. So nothing else in that box. We will go ahead and close that up. We've got a nice brick of packs here. I might actually need the old razor blade here. Let me pull this off camera for one second. Just because I don't want to knock the camera over. Actually, that was easier than I thought, I think. Well, wait, one more piece. And... All right, there we go, guys. All right, so sorry about that. Pull the brick back on here. Let's get this stack of cards out. And let's see what we get for our 150 bucks this month. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's see if we get some sick pulls, I hope. All right, I'll set that stack there. And then we start off with a 2020 
Tops Fire, and that is really interesting with the hobby uh, emblem up our hobby edition. I had no idea because this is a Target exclusive. So that's interesting with the ho uh, hobby exclusive part. We got two packs of that actually, guys. So that's interesting. Uh, not exactly sure on that. I'd be lying if I told you guys I knew that that had hobby cards. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. We got 2019 Bowman. That'll be a hobby pack. Very nice. Nice fat pack I see of 2020 Chrome. Very nice. That increases our odds for an auto significantly. We got some Allen and Ginter. And I think that's a 2019 Bowman Draft Jumbo below it. We'll see here in a second. But uh, there you go. It's a hobby pack of 2020 Allen and Ginter. Very nice. And it is 2019 Bowman Draft Jumbo Pack. I love this product. This is probably one of my favorite years of this. I love it. Oh, very, very nice. Look at this, guys. 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby Pack. Recently released there. Very nice odds of pulling an auto in that as well. Sorry, guys. I, there's bumping the bumping the camera like I try not to do. Um, then we got 2019 Bowman Chrome Hobby. Uh, 2020 Stadium Club. That'll be a hobby pack. And then we got some 2019 Heritage High Number Hobby Pack. So, honestly, guys, what do we got here? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. But let's be honest, guys, the ten packs are... The value's there. I mean, honestly, guys, the value is there. I actually, I have no problem at all with this price point. The The pack selection is very good this month. I, I love, love what we're getting here, guys. I mean, you know, some of this stuff, heck, this Spoman Draft Jumbo pack's around 50 bucks, you know, just by itself. So, you know, very, very nice pack selection this month. Really not bad packs at all. I don't even know where to begin because they're all good. I think I'll go with this Fire uh, just because I'm curious to see, these are hobby. Uh, again, I have no idea how that's hobby, but it is. Uh, let's set these aside. Let's set the fat packs together. Set this here. All right, let's get into this. I hope for an autograph or something like that. A nice parallel of one of the rookies. All right, here we go, though. So we start with Mr. Snell. Uh, Mendick. Wrong white socks there for rookie. And then we got... Uh, Mr. Smile, Frankie Lindor. I don't know if that's a, a Jake Fraley behind it. Let's see if that's... No, no numbering or anything like that, but that's okay. Jake Fraley, Chris Paddock, and Kevin Biggio. So, and I don't think any of those other ones are numbered. I'll fly through them. I know some of you guys would like to see, you know, if any of that stuff is numbered. Because in fire, it's a little bit tricky sometimes, I'd say, to be able to see... Or, or take a guess what some of the stuff is with the numbering and stuff because it's like really artsy, you know, kind of cards. Uh, but Andrew Benatendi in our second pack starts us off. Brennan McKay. And then we got a, I think this is Smoke and Mirrors maybe. Uh, Joey Lucchese. We'll check the back of this stuff in a minute. Then we got a Castillo. There we go. Luis Robert. Nice start. Very, very nice. Luis Robert rookie card. And our last card is a Cole Tucker. For the Buccas, but that's the man of the hour right there. Luis Robert, very, very nice. Happy to pull that. Just the base rookie, but heck yeah, we'll take that. That's a very nice, very nice card. So, excellent. And let's check the uh, the backs of the other cards. I know, like I said, you guys might be curious. See if any of this is numbered. And it is a smoke and mirrors for that Joey uh, Lucchese. And nothing else is numbered there. So, the Lou Bob, Lou Rowe, whatever you want to call him, Luis Robert. Definitely the pool of this break so far. All right, let's do. You know, let's do Allen and Ginter next. I'm still looking to pull one of those rip cards. Never pulled one of those. Uh, I know the odds are very much against us in just one of these loose packs, but let's see what we get. So nice, uh, that Eddie Matthews. Yep, Eddie Matthews. Hey, you, Eugenio Suarez behind him. We got an Ichiro, Al K line. Uh, Dobbins, football card there, move on. And then uh, we've got a Citadels and Safe Holds. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then we got a Bell Hay. So that's kind of the cards that are the uh, the packs right there. It's a good example of the packs that scare people away from Allen and Ginter um, because you get a lot of those kind of weirdo cards and stuff that's really not worth much. Uh, but all right, guys, let's do Stadium Club, see what we can get in here. See if we get a little bit of luck. I don't think I've pulled any autos out of Stadium Club yet this year, guys. And 
I mean, I've only gotten loose packs, but still. Uh, so a little tough to show the names here for that Brandon Woodruff. You guys can see that. Aaron Hicks. A little bit of stickage going on here. Behind the Aaron Hicks. We've got JB, Josh Bell. Johnny Bench. And he is stuck too. A. William Ennis, second year card. Got a little excited. I thought maybe we had another Luis Robert. Then we got a Shun Yamaguchi. It's probably just going to be one of the parallel cards and not an auto. And it is. It's a red parallel. But still, it's a red parallel rookie. We'll take it. Then we got Ozzy Smith. And our final card of the Stadium Club is Thor himself, Noah Syndergaard. So there you go, guys. Stadium Club in the books. Let's get on with this because, quite honestly, these are the packs that I was most looking forward to. Uh, even the Heritage High number, which we're going to do first, because uh, this is the between Heritage and Heritage High number. You want the Heritage High number, especially for 2019. That is where all the big rookies are, you know, specifically Tatis Jr., Pete Alonso, Vladdy, Eloy, you know, they're all in here. So Caleb Smith starts us off, Domingo Santana, Eric Stamets. That's a rookie, if you guys did not notice that. A Jake Bowers rookie. Johnny Cueto. Carson Kelly. David Fries. Omar Navars. And Carter Keyboom. A rookie finishes us off. And I'd say probably that Carter Keyboom is probably the more valuable card out of that one. Then we got a short print there of that Johnny Cueto. As you guys saw probably from that number 711. That would be a short print, but nothing insane in that pack. All right, now, oh, man, where to begin? These are just insanely good packs. Let's do, I guess, 2019 Bowman. We'll start with that one. Very nice packs. Oh, look at that, guys. Look, he's on the back. Mr. Gavin Lux is waiting for us there. Nice prospects card of Gavin waiting for us. That's a nice way to end this pack. So Danny Jansen, rookie, starts us off. A Kyle Wright, rookie. Uh, Michael Givens. Matt Carpenter. Getting to our crumbs. Uh, Christian Pache. And we got a ready for the show, Brent Honeywell, for the Rays. Nice. Look at that. Tatis Jr. does not have the rookie stamp or anything like that. That's because that's going to be a prospects card. But very, very nice. Fernando Tatis Jr. prospects card. We will sleeve that bad boy up for sure. We got Royce Lewis Crumb, and then back to paper again here. Lion uh, Richardson, first Bowman, and then there he is. Gavin Lux Prospects card. Nice pack, guys. No autos or parallels, but very nice. Very nice pack there as far as uh, some of the bigger players and rookies go in today's game. All right, 2019 Bowman Chrome. Let's see what we can do here. Get a little bit of luck. Maybe. Let's get. I hope we get at least one auto out of these remaining packs. And there we go. Look at that. So what I'm talking about, middle cards of different stocks. That's either a parallel or an auto, guys. Very cool. Very cool. And look at that. We've got a Keston Hira, Chrome rookie. I mean, these are all Chromes, obviously, for 2019 Bowman Chrome. But we got a Keston Hira rookie card. Very nice. Marcus Stroman. Jameson Hanna. Parker Meadows, and then the final card of the pack that's either going to be a parallel or an auto. Oh, I think it's an auto, boys, because it's not a parallel card. It's a first Bowman. Danny Diaz. There we go. Danny Diaz, first Bowman autograph. Nice. I actually think I already have that card. That's not going to be a refractor, so it's not numbered or anything like that. Signed by your Red Sox in 2017 as a free agent, but there you go. Danny Diaz. I will take it. Very nice. So we're doing pretty good so far, honestly, guys. Very, very nice uh, luck, pack luck. Finally changing a little bit of my luck. I'm, I'm really appreciating this. Um, I guess let's do the 2020 Bowman Chrome. Stick with the Chrome theme here, I guess. Hopefully we get lucky enough to get one of the two autos that are in these mini boxes. Uh, no different card stock this time, guys, so probably no auto. We can still get some nice rookies. Eddie Rosario starts us off. Got a Chris Bryant. Behind him, we got a there we go. Baron Laura. Six foot five stat tracker. It's one of the big names you're for sure looking for in here, if not the biggest. So Baron Laura will set that in a good pile for sure. Uh Le sorry, yeah, Leody Tavares. And last but not least, 
Noel V. Marte. So there you go, guys. We did get a Baron Aura. Been hunting his cards for sure to try to build up a nice PC of him. Let's do the Topps Chrome. See if we get some luck there, and then we'll do that fat path to end it. Let's get an auto. Come on. And skunked on this one, guys. No different card stock, but we can still get some nice rookies. Let's see what we get. So Tower of Glass now starts us off. We got a Chris Bryant. All rise for the judge. Corey Seeger. Got a refractor. Uh, future stars. I got really excited there when I saw the White Sox stuff, but uh, it's an Angel Jimenez. Future stars. Now refractors, you know, basic with those cards. You know, no numbering or anything like that. You guys can see. And then we got a freshman flash, Dylan Cease. Another White Sox. We're getting all the White Sox, just not the specific one we're looking for. And we got a nice card behind it. You guys see this coming. It's a Tatis Jr. Cup card refractor. That is a nice pull. Very, very nice card, guys. Very, very nice card. We will definitely set that aside to get that bad boy sleeved up. And we'll spin this back around. We got a prism. Those are not numbered, those prisms. It's not an X Fractor, it's a prism of Jorge Soler. And then we got a Scott Kingery. Mauricio Dubon rookie. John Means Cup card. And we got a Seth Brown rookie. And we finish with a Michael Conforto. So there you go. Definitely that Tatis was where it's at as far as that pack went. All right, guys, last pack, the fat pack, the Bowman Draft 2019. I opened quite a bit of this stuff last year. Uh, I just, I love the design of the cards. And, you know, I just love pulling first Bowman autos and parallels. It's just such a fun product. Let's see if we get any luck. Um, maybe, maybe. You see, I think we got a different card stock. Yes, I think we do. Let's try to set that aside. Put that right there so that we can end with that card. And let's hope that uh, I'm right and that is a different card stuck. And it's either a parallel or an auto. So we got Jake Magnum, first Bowman, Refractor. Ronnie Mauricio, Refractor. And we got a draft uh, progression there. Hunter Bishop, Joey Barton, Heliot Ramos. Uh, Mateo Gill. And we got a first Bowman of Gray Kessinger. Ryan Costello, I think there we go. J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, these are paper now that we're back into, if you guys couldn't tell. Uh, Brady McConnell, Jared uh, Kelnick, first Bowman of Michael Bush, Denny Reyes, Cody Hose, Clark Schmidt, first Bowman Greg Jones, uh, Brewer Hicklin, First Bowman, a Hunter Bishop. That's a good one. Kyle McCann. Nick Quintana, first Bowman. Jordan Groshans. Andrew Schultz, first Bowman. First Bowman of Tyler Callahan. Spencer Brickhouse, first Bowman. We got a Josh Smith, first Bowman. Royce Lewis, getting down to the end of the pack, guys. Uh, Bo Phillip, first Bowman. Miguel Maya. Kendall Williams, first Bowman. Uh, Julio Pablo Martinez. I see some blue at the end, guys. So we got Joey Bart. That's chrome. Jake Agnos, first Bowman. These are chrome that we're finishing with, guys. A J.J. Bleday. That's very nice. I think, yep, I think it's going to be a paper. One of them sky blues, probably out of $4.99. Let's hope for a good name, though. That's eh, a Buckos. Cal Mitchell, out of $4.99 with a paper sky blue. Uh, parallel there so nothing insane but that was the different card stock there guys so Cal Mitchell there from the Buccos I don't know I'm just gonna grab that JJ JJ Blade and say that he's maybe the best one out of that pack since it's chrome um, but yeah some really good pulls guys honestly uh, you know I hope you guys enjoyed this break as much as I did I mean there's definitely the pack value is there in my opinion uh, I love this box I'll definitely continue to pick up more of these. And like I said, I got another one coming for this month. One that's definitely uh, even quite a bit more high end with a lot more crazy packs in it for sure. I'll go ahead and show you guys the cords I have set aside there before I sleeve these. Kind of the hits of the break, as I would call them. The Tatis Jr. Uh, refractor cup card there. The Baron Laura stat tracker. The Dan Diaz is our only autograph, but that's pretty cool. 
the Keston Hero rookie, Chrome. We got the Gavin Lux prospects card, the Tatis Junior prospects card, and then the Luis Robert Tops Fire rookie card. Um, and again, I didn't show you guys the Cal Quintrill out of four ninety nine Sky Blue that we just showed you there and stuff. But uh, and uh, you know, honestly, a oh, fun break, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. Um, as always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address as well as a mailing address. If you guys would ever need to reach out to me. But other than that, guys, please have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at. And we will see you guys next time.